Hi, my name is Dawn and this is my son Adam. We are going to be making a bird feeder for our yard today. Um, we really enjoy spending time in our yard. If you live in an apartment and you have a balcony, you could put it up on your balcony. Otherwise, you could gift a bird feeder to a friend. Um, but we're using recycled materials from around our house today. So we have an old bowl that we're gonna use. Um, we have crazy glue and two plastic bottles. Now we've gone ahead and cut the plastic bottles beforehand because we realized it was a little bit precarious and <laughs> we weren't having the best of luck while trying to film it. But what we did is cut out two windows. If you see, there's a large window on both sides of this one. And then we just cut the top off. So this will be the base of our bird feeder. And Adam with his bottle cut the bottom off. He just basically cut a strip and now the bottom fits different right onto the bottom of the bottle. So that's the prep you need to do before the video. So cut out the two windows, cut the top off, and then cut the bottom off this one so that it fits together. Okay, now we're about to assemble. So we're going to get crazy glue. Adam, you're gonna help with this part. Um, I'm gonna open the crazy glue, if that's okay. And I'm gonna let you put the crazy glue. Oh, that didn't open very well. Let's try it one more time. Okay, no, it's still not open. So, oh, there we go. Okay, try not to crazy glue your fingers together. Okay, um, so put crazy glue on all of the contact points, all of the bumps on the bottle. You can put quite a bit on Adam, and then we're gonna tip that into the bowl. You're being so careful, like this. Very good job. I don't think you've been this careful in a long time. Okay, tip it upside down so that I'll take the glue. It sticks into the bottom of our bowl and try not to get any crazy glue on you. Perfect. Now we're just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and glue on. Now this piece is gonna get inverted in upside down, just like this. I'm gonna give you the crazy glue so that you can crazy glue just this edge right here. Here, I'll, try, I'll hold it straight for you if I can. Just a little bit all the way around just so it holds it nice and firm. Here, I'll spin it. If you just do a little bit on this side, I'll hold it still and it should dry nicely. Can you get some out? You got the tiny tubes of crazy glue, so there's just a little bit left. Is there enough, do you think, to get in there? A hot glue gun would work really well for this. You could also use Lepage's white glue and just leave it lots of time to dry. We're gonna take a break and let it dry and we'll be back to fill it with bird seeds shortly. Okay, everything is dry. Um, Adam is gonna cut our bag of bird seed and I'm gonna lift the top off and then we're gonna fill it up and we'll have a bird feeder for our yard for the year. I really like the high edged bowl. I got this on, or I picked this one on purpose because we have another bird feeder in our yard that doesn't have a way to catch the excess feed that the birds fill out. So I'm hoping that this one works. Keep filling, yeah, all the way up. It'll stop when the feed comes out as high as the, the base of the bottle. Perfect, that's great, Autumn. So that's our bird feeder, and this fits right over top so you don't get any moisture in there, and you can refill it and use it all year. Thanks, Adam. Oh, one more thing. If you choose to uh, want to hang this, you can put a wire through with a hook we're just setting ours on a post, and so we don't need that uh, a hanging mechanism. But you could totally do that. Have fun with your birds in your yard, in parks, and out in nature this summer.